very good evening to you and welcome back to the beautiful El Olivar Hotel Palace and Resort here in Marrakesh. This is the final of the Ultimate Pool Moroccan Team Championships and what a final it promises to be. Team Small Tiger on your left against Team Gillespie. Osama Maschini and uh, Riyadh and Scott Pope make up Team Small Tiger and Team Gillespie of course Scott Gillespie Gubsy himself Morgan McInnes and Stephen Campbell it's a race to five as it's been all the way throughout the tournament maximum of 50 minutes on the match clock there is of course a shot clock which is 30 seconds and one extension of 15 seconds each per player per rack we've just seen well we've already crowned two champions today haven't we Geraldine Champagne won the ladies title and then Tom Cousins lifting the CPP title overcoming Connor Tracy by eight racks to one and he also will feature in the main event the UPA Championship coming up after this final and of course the man at the table Scott Gillespie will be featuring in that as well he'll be up against Tom in that final that's to come a little bit later on he just overcame Christophe Lambert in a, a big battle Scott running out the winner in that one by eight racks to four need to get off to a good start in this one though it's just a race to five as well now trying to move the yellow away from the red which he does very nicely indeed he'll save that one for a little bit later on Summer Maschini, well, Miss Q. Summer Maschini actually lives in England. He's residing in the east end of London. And there is a third, fourth playoff just down to the left of me. Chris Melling is in action against Christoph Lambert. Chris had deep runs in both the teams and in the singles. Unfortunately though, missed out, but I'm sure would love to take the third place. Digging down, this is not easy. real damage done and that yellow down the other end is making the safety that much more awkward it's kind of like having one red down the bulk end in snooker you can't really play safe down that end and you can't play safe down this end unless you nestle in on this yellow 
couldn't really do too much more. Kubel will be headed back down this area once again though, I feel. Play the yellow on the left hand side rail with some left hand spin. Watch the cue ball go back towards the top rail. Well, hiding in behind the eight ball instead. Wonder might you consider playing the double on this red on the right hand side and draw into the red by the side pocket. It's an option. Changed his mind at the last second. Well, what a change of mind it was as well. Oh, has he just gone too far? Kind of stopped in his tracks there, didn't he? I think he might have just gone a little bit too far. Gillespie overcame Team Morris in the semi-final. In the quarter-final, they beat probably the favourites for the tournament, Team Shepherd. That was a hill-hill match in the last 16. They overcame Team MMA. Five-zero win over T Team Jerome before that and the first round 5-1 win over Team Lee Cascadiers it's gone wrong can he play it off the yellow in the side pocket. Well, you have to hit them just a little bit harder than that, I feel. No real favourites in this final, I don't think. It's a two-horse race. Both have some stars on their side. I think it's fair to say Gillespie and this man at the table are probably the main two, which is probably why they're playing first and against each other. Takes me back to league night when I was a teenager. Always put your strongest player out. I used to go last. Couldn't do any damage going last. Now, I think he's gone just too far. And the shake of the head endorses that. Could he get really clever here? And maybe play the cue ball off the jaw. It'd be very risky. He could just drop it in and leave himself a harder shot. Oh, he could force an angle. And he's a little bit unlucky to catch the eight ball. Just the safety. Or does he fancy? What about playing a shot like Scott just played? Play the yellow off the red in the side. What about that for an idea? It looks like he's running for cover behind the eight. No, gone for distance. 
and that's a pretty good shot look at the weight on the cue ball really smart shot this is awkward now what's Goobsy got in mind I asked him what the name meant I was hoping to get some kind of interesting story but he said it doesn't mean anything it's just Goobsy he's left this on it's gone wrong and play off the back route and play the eight into the same pocket probably or even the corner a little bit betwixt the between where does he fancy it done to the delight of the local crowd I just had my picture done with that young lady there and her husband have sat along here all week right next to me having to listen to my voice poor them can't give you any updates on the other game going on guys because there's no scoreboard on it smelling is right beneath me here but I don't want to disturb him and ask him I just made eye contact with Christophe Lambert hope he didn't hear me don't want to put him off of course playing for pride and prize money as well Chris Melling are playing for a difference of one thousand dollars. It's either fifteen hundred for third or five hundred for last eight. Actually I beg your pardon. It's just bragging rights, they've both got fifteen hundred dollars, I apologise. this one shot that was I think that's what he played may have been playing for the yellow in the side but can make sure he leaves himself a decent angle now on this yellow in the side oh, he's just gonna drop it in is he through and then play the yellow over the corner and play it with a little bit of power kind of draw off of the the yellow over the pocket give the other yellow a nudge or maybe will it pass the red into the corner we'll soon know the way he plays this if he doesn't try and move it then obviously it goes well he did try it so he's played it really really well his opponent really nice stance team Gillespie looking to get back on level terms winners will take home three thousand dollars 
Not bad, $1,000 each. Runners up, we'll get 1500 so exactly half, 500 each. So very nicely done, Scott Pope leaves the arena. Give us a wave, there she is, there she is, giving us all a wave. <laughs> and her husband. himself the team is named after him team Gillespie to break Dry. Very, very short race. It's hard to get going in this if you don't get a good start. he's called is because the balls are close together and he's not playing the ball directly into a pocket nicely done and he's really nicely on this red down the rail home crowd enjoyed that one now living in the east end of London Mr Maschini great name that isn't it shot coming up needs to get on the final yellow in such a way you can get to the eight ball well it's not straightforward can he draw can he screw between the gap between the two outside reds of those four just draw through that gap he certainly can just caught one of them but it's perfect and team small tiger will take a small lead at two run much to the delight of the home crowd. Playing under the Moroccan flag, but of course they do have one Brit amongst them. Scott Pope, who lives in Taunton, a lovely place in Somerset in southern England and he actually practices in Club All Stars the same club that the Safecracker practices in, Shane Thompson so 
and Team Small Tiger overcame Team Lambert in the semi-final. Before that, it was Team Maltese Aura. Team Le Bulls were their victims also. An easier win for the Small Tigers there at 5-1. Another 5-1 over the Team Legends. And in the first round, it was a donut served up to Team Gordeau. Back to this one, Scott Pope breaking off. Reminds me of the singer Will Young a little bit. Is the yellow going to go? Wow, the crowd, I think, was sucking that one into the pocket. I heard a big <laughs> from the crowd. Those behind were blowing. These were sucking. It worked. They made the yellow in the corner. It was a team effort. just before this final the result doesn't really matter it's going to make sure they enjoy it and have fun of course the extra $500 each would be a bonus one thing that stood out from this tournament is how everyone has just enjoyed the facilities here the hospitality has been second to none and to use Scott Pope's words he said I feel like royalty here everyone is just so nice really does seem like a happy-go-lucky kind of guy he's got a really cool accent as well it's fun but I'm sure the nerves might be jangling just a little bit needs to leave himself an angle on the final red to get across for the black into the same pocket so he needs to put a little bit of pace into this one these are missable have to cue it well oh and it's because he did cue it well that he's dropped he also needs to cue this well also would have liked a bit more angle on this oh he was fine you see just that little bit more angle would have taken him further over mind that shirt on this yellow he did now the crowds have been up for these games since day one they really have the viewing area has been full every single match almost it really has the only time it wasn't was at lunchtime today when everyone was in the restaurant I don't think they knew there was a game going on Christoph Lambert has just broken dry against Chris Melling in the third place playoff. So who have we got up next guys? down 
crowd getting excited again. Dry break means their man comes to the table. Even though he lives in England, he'll always be their Moroccan, of course. They also have the number one Moroccan in their team. I'd be interested to find out how Scott Pope sneaked into the team. I'm glad they did invite him in. Great addition to the team, really, really nice guy. don't you which is what pattern play is I did just wonder why or if they might think about maybe putting some numbers on the balls just one to seven okay I think if this red still passes into this bottom left hand corner sorry the yellow passes the red it doesn't so just a little bit more work to do here and just screw back a little bit and now this is the key shot has he gone too far well it's not too bad you can come round the back in between the rail and the 10 here I think sorry the 8 or oh, I can just drop it in even better I haven't said the number 10 for ages apologise guys once again how many times have I done that this week it's because in rotation that looks just like the 10 ball that stripe I know it's the 8 of course I just can't help myself Oh, he's missed it. What a chance then for the Scot. shows you these pockets are just a little bit nippier Nicely done, and they arrive at the hill. Still have one final to come for you today guys and it's going to be a belt up Tom Cousins chasing his second Moroccan title here in, well, in the space of a couple of hours because earlier on he overcame Connor Tracy to win the CPP event 
the next one is the UPA event the Ultimate Pool Association Moroccan Championships $13,000 on the line and he's up against Mr Gillespie Goobsy breaking on the hill Amur Riyad needs a ball almost made the cue ball but it's going to be dry so Morgan McGuinness his mum is very famous the, the ref Michaela Tab first ever woman to referee a world championship snooker final well we love a, a little bit of an atmosphere don't shush them too much I'm just trying to find out score in the third fourth playoff between Christoph Lambert and Chris Mellin I then ask them mid-match hiccups on the table for Amir as he works his way through this rack wow that wasn't even close was it it was a long way off just a complete misjudgment come back there's the teammates Stephen Campbell's dad was the guy in the pinkish peachish t-shirt been a nice guy around the venue to have a few chats with over the last few days result it's going to be a ghost town I think a lot of players have left today and of course a lot will leave tomorrow I'm here for another day I'm going to go and enjoy a bit of Marrakesh I think So 
able to keep this final alive for at least another rack. Yellow to the top left. And it will draw shot just low on the cue ball, six o'clock on the clock face. Should be home and dry. doesn't pass into the side pocket then so he's had to draw across to take it into this bottom right hand corner this is missable though but not this time the handshake the final is still alive 4-2 it's still team small tiger though just edging it at the moment so here we go again. It will be Gubsy himself, Scott Gillespie, up against the small tiger himself, Osama Maschini. You know, those two guys have done so much work. Rim, the big boss of Ultimate Pool here in Morocco. Scott breaking off then yeah, he's got a few more breaks to make as well after this match he will be playing the final up against Tom Cousins the only defeat Tom Cousins has had in the last four days was the very first team event the very first team match that he played they went out spurred him on to not lose another frame though big shot wow try to draw oh is he going to scratch in the side oh dear oh dear how unlucky is that just missed the cannon straight into the drink Just off angle on the red to the top left. Looking at taking on the one to the bottom right. We're looking right down the barrel of the gun here. Oh, that's the one he's going to play. I just want to 
go through slightly with the cue ball move himself on the red to the top left oh now he can draw out off this for the red into the side just below middle and bottom on the cue ball down and get a little bit closer to the red next to the eight ball love to leave himself a little angle on it so he can just stun out for the eight into the side pocket yeah wrong angle so just had to take his medicine Straight into the top left for 4-3. In it goes. Goobsy coming up with the goods just when he needed them. The crowd a lot quieter now. So Stephen Campbell stepping up to the plate. Osama Riyad looking to atone tab as we know her she's watching I knew she would be hope you're well Michaela she's been doing a lot of the senior snooker just recently running a business as well don't we let's get our money's worth well, we're not even paying for it are we we've had the the free stream four days in a row some great numbers as well thanks for sticking with us guys it's nice to know that there's plenty of ultimate pool fans all around the world in America there's one coming up I believe it's in Louisville where Fed or Gorst now lives I'm sure he'll be playing in it if he's available very fitting if this did go the distance one more awkward little shot he's 
dealt with it well. He's got the perfect angle to stun off this yellow into the side down for the one remaining yellow into the top left. Just leave any kind of angle, high or low, on the last yellow. Eight ball in the side pocket on the right to go all the way. Applause for another match going on. Or some moves and owls on the other match going on. Between Chris Melling and Christoph. They're having a right ding dong battle for third, fourth, and in it goes. And we are going to go to a final rack decider. going to be Scott Pope the handshake with Morgan so here we go it's either a grand each or 500 each US dollars I'm talking of course Semi-finalists received 600 and the last eight got $300 for their trouble. We've already given away 3,000 to the women's champion, Geraldine Champagne. You may have heard screams of Christoph. He's just won a rack, keeping the match alive maybe. I'm not sure what the score is there. He's got a smile on his face though. be hill hill i think i just saw them shake hands and say good luck so maybe they are hill hill and chris mellon is breaking off anyway back to this one in this final it's looking good for team Gillespie and Scott will have a chance at 13,000 in the final to follow as well oh, that's a good shot as he overhit it and he's okay just has to be a little bit careful because one red doesn't pass the yellow into the right hand corner so he just has to think a few shots in advance here make sure he doesn't get the wrong side on the penultimate red yeah this is okay can draw across the face of the red to play the penultimate one into the same pocket It's perfect, I think. Or is it? It needs to be straight or just off straight. Cue ball coming to the right. If he's straight, he's okay. He can just drop this in dead weight, run through for the red into the top left. He's fine. Well, nervous moments now. Does he have an angle? To come down the left-hand side of the table, he does. He's coming round to have a look at it. Wouldn't want to be drawing straight back. Always side pocket come into it. Oh, what a beautiful shot he's played here. Look at this nicely on this eight ball. For the championship. Don't take too much time. Okay, you've got 21 seconds. You want to be down studying it. Studying steadying yourself rather I can't get my words out it's been a long four days and in it goes and what a comeback from full run down team Gillespie nods of approval from the audience have come from 4-1 behind to win it 5-4
the champions of the teams, Team Gillespie, Stephen Campbell, Morgan McGuinness and Scott Gillespie. Congratulations, guys. We're going to go and do a little bit of an interview and the presentation. I'll see you on the other side of the camera. See you soon, guys. So a great final, 4-1 down to 5-4 winners. But let's first have a chat with the runners-up. Scott Pope, almost made it, almost got your hands on the trophy. 4-1 up, what went wrong? Uh, to be fair, I don't think we did a lot wrong. Yeah, we probably had one good chance, but um, otherwise it was a solid game. Um, I've been dished twice, um, and I think, to be fair, I don't think... Uh, Scotland really did that much wrong to be fair so um, it's, a, it's a difficult uh, team to play against obviously 4-1 up obviously disappointed but otherwise if you um, looked at the draw that we had I think we'd be pretty happy to get to the final you said no matter what you are going to just enjoy the final yeah, yeah. you're here you're enjoying it having fun second place I'm sure you'd have taken that at the beginning of the week yeah, no, definitely. When it's a race to uh, five, one frame pool, you know, you'll take any position, really. You know, if you, so if you get to the final in this format, I think any team should be happy. So, Round of applause for Scott Pop and team Small Tiger. Congratulations, guys. Now the winners from four, one down. They came all the way back. Come on, Scott. How does it feel, mate? Scott Gillespie, captain of Team Gillespie. Uh, Gillespie. Yeah, no, first of all, um, that's our one of our good mates back home, Scott Kennedy, so thanks, Scott. Um, no, listen, 4-1 down, it's race to five, so we just said to ourselves, we only need four frames, like anything can happen at this level. Um, they did have one good chance, but listen, it's tough out there in front of the audience. Um, so I, we just dug in and managed to get our chances and took them. I think the audience were rooting not for you. <laughs> Let's put it that way. No, listen, the audience are great. It's good to have an audience. And obviously, with some local interest with the Moroccans, they're, they're going to celebrate them, but they still appreciate good pool, which is great. 
Congratulations, Scott Cheers. Gillespie. So we're going to now present the trophy to you. And to do that, we have the manager and the director of this beautiful El Olivar Palace Hotel. Please come, guys. A trophy each for Morgan McGuinness, Stephen Campbell, and Scott Gillespie. Congratulations to Team Gillespie, guys. Congratulations once again to the runners-up, Team Small Tiger, and of course to the winners. Scott Gillespie will be back in this arena very, very soon because we have the final. Tom Cousins is back once again trying to double up, but I know Scott Gillespie will be doing everything he can to stop that happening. Join us again on Ultimate Pool Morocco very, very soon, guys, for the main final.